So we're here at the example table, and in this video, we're going to do some derivatives by definition. So let's just draw a nice little picture to remind ourselves about what's going on with derivatives. So if you have a function like this, we're looking at approximations of a tangent line using a line like this. So we're fixing x, and up here we have, say, x plus h, and we want to capture the slope of this line as h goes to 0 meaning that this point is moving closer and closer to our original point, x. So the slope is going to use f of x and f of x plus h. The slope of the line that I just drew, therefore, is f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. All right, the difference between these two over the difference between these two. And the derivative is the limit as h approaches 0. And this is denoted f prime of x. All right, that's the derivative. So we're going to use this definition to compute a derivative. Example. Let's set f of x equal to 7x squared minus 3x plus 4. First thing I want to do is find the difference quotient, because that involves a lot of algebra, and I want to get that over with before I even start talking about limits. So the difference quotient is that ratio from before without the limit. So f of x plus h minus f of x all over h equals 7 times the quantity x plus h squared minus 3 times the quantity x plus h plus 4 minus f of x. So minus 7x squared minus 3x plus 4. Don't forget the parentheses around the expression for f of x. And this whole thing over h. So we're going to have to simplify this. Let's expand some of these. So this, this part becomes 7 times the quantity x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. This becomes minus 3x minus 3h, and then plus 4. And we'll distribute this minus, so we get minus 7x squared plus 3x minus 4. And this whole thing, once again, all over h. Now we can cancel some stuff. So we have here a 7x squared and a minus 7x squared. So that goes away. We have a minus 3x and a plus 3x. Those go away. We have a plus 4 and a minus 4. So those go away. So what we're left with is this 7 times 2xh, so we're left with this 14xh, plus 7 times h squared, minus 3h, all over h. Every term now in the numerator has an h, so we can cancel with the denominator. This becomes 14x plus 7h minus 3. This is what we can use to compute the derivative. We'll do that on the next sheet of paper. <laughs> so f prime of x is, by definition, the limit as h approaches 0 of the expression that we just got, which is 14x plus 7h minus 3. But what happens here? As h goes to 0, this 14x is untouched. The 7h goes to 0, and the minus 3 is untouched. So this is 14x minus 3. And that's how you compute the derivative by definition. 